Sharjah has a different kind of fabric compared to different Emirates in the United Arab Emirates. It is focusing on improving its uh, image and creating an imageability. At the same time, it is also promoting itself as a cultural hub. In today's day and time, with the work that Sharjah Museum's Authority is doing, they are trying to bring these architectural structures or cultural entities into focus again. The Sharjah Museum's Authority aims to embrace the region's heritage and create awareness of Sharjah's historical landmarks, such as Al Mahatta Museum, that have put the Emirate on the global map. As part of Sharjah Museum's Authority's efforts, Mahi Dubai School of Design and Architecture organized the launch of its book publication titled Architectural and Urban Development of Sharjah. Raising awareness, educating the public about different topics of heritage and culture is one area of the museum work, but it's not the only one. There's also projects like this, working with students, empowering students, giving them the opportunities to do real work and research in different areas of work. So there's quite, a, there's quite different layers that the work goes into. It's not just what you see when you walk into a museum, just the things on display, but there's so much more behind that as well. The event took place on the 16th of December 2019 and also showcased an art exhibition put together by the students of the Art Club of Mahi Dubai. The research documents how the city has evolved over the years and how these historical landmarks fit into the urban landscape of Sharjah. Sharjah does it very beautifully. Sharjah has a unique way of approaching it when we look at it in the entire scenario of UAE. It fits in because it's, it's one place where all these cultural elements uh, are actually surrounded by expatriate people and uh, the locals are slightly far off or outside at the, at the city outskirts and it's a little tricky scenario to bring uh, the connection between the locals and the cultural symbols as well. The research has already influenced the urban development of Sharjah by identifying and preserving historical landmarks that have been overshadowed or diminished over time. So King Abdul Aziz Road or the immigration road as we call it colloquially uh, they were going to build a flyover. The fact that we did the conservation management plan and we did the al uh, urban analysis of Al Mahatta, the government of Sharjah decided not to build the flyover. A part of the erstwhile runway, which is sandwiched between King Faisal Mosque and Al Ithiyat Square, that was about to be demolished by the Road and Transport Authority. That was stopped because we told them that this is a historic precursor. It's like a circle, you know, where uh, everything was there and then the modern Sharjah came up because of the historic uh, elements and today what we're trying to do is reflect back on the historic elements and make them as a highlight for Sharjah. I think the most important thing is connecting people, be it local or be it the expatriates, and making people like me feel at home right here.